as soon as I got to my mother-in-law's house, I realized that her flapper valve on her toilet is broken. It's, it's hanging up, so you gotta go and wiggle the handle. Easy fix, $5 flapper valve, no big deal. So I'm headed over to Lowe's, except where she lives is out in the middle of nowhere, so it's a 30 minute drive each way. It's one of those trips. You have to get everything. And if you mess up, you have another hour back and forth. Friday, not a good idea. And I'm on the empty side of the parking lot. The other side is completely full. All this for a flapper valve. So instead of just swapping out the flapper, we decided to go with the entire insides of the toilet. And this is what we chose. This is the one that's for the low volume flush as well. But it also works with the older toilets. Step one, turn off the water. Flush? Can I flush? Flush. Can I the TV thing? this up to let any water drain. And then what's left, we'll sop up with a towel. So sop it up. And then, because that seal is gross, we're going to clean that seal off so our new flapper has a good seal. So I have my wet towel down here to soak up any water left and we'll pull our supply line which should be finger tight. Thanks bud. You're welcome. There's a little bit of water that's out. So now that that's out, there should be a nut. Yep, right there's the nut. On the bottom, we'll pull that, and this entire piece will come out. We'll pull this out as well. That's disgusting. It is. It's all rusty and nasty. And then we've got the seal all clean. And we're about ready. Once this comes out, then we'll start putting new parts in. So this, you get a new rubber seal. So your rubber seal that goes here, you'll have to pull it, set the new rubber seal in place down there. And then we'll set this in. This is the new nut. And it's a tight fit. There we go. Work we'll that down. Tighten this nut up from underneath. We'll get that finger tight. We'll reattach our supply hose. All this is just finger tight. Have not used a single tool yet. All right, that's all hooked up. Just attaching this hose end. I don't know the official name of it, but most toilets I've worked on don't have a hose piece here, so you have to have this, and I'm going to use it just because, so that will go there, this will go on here, I'll pull down back the hose clamp, also never seen a hose clamp on one of these, normally it's enough pressure. Fluid master knows what they're doing. It's looking a lot better now. There we go. It's got this. It's got this roller clamp. Never had any experience with one of those. I actually had to look up in the, the uh, manual that came with this to figure out what the purpose of that is. What's its purpose? Its purpose is if the if it's refilling too often, you can set the roller clamp. I'm not sure how that works, but Hopefully I won't need it. I need my flapper. Okay. This flapper is adjustable. Hey Dad, we need to do a fix when we turn the water back on. Can I be the first one to flush? Okay. I don't know if it's sitting 
want to see like how it goes. Snap the new flapper in. And since I don't know where this needs to go yet, I will hook this in and then we'll adjust from there. That's pr that looks pretty good. That seems to work. I think that's how it goes. That is how it goes. Okay. Okay. So, now. I would think it would be harder to do it. Yeah. Piece of cake. Turn on the water. You notice it's filling down here. And this is filling. Oh, so, as it's filling up, what we'll do is we'll check to make sure by code, and they put this in the book. Your water has to be an inch down from the top of this. Well, there's a like water line right there. That's a little bit less than an inch. But there's a water line. I see the like dust line. Mm -hmm. Is that where it's supposed to go? Where the water is? Yeah. So everything is working right. This is the adjustment. So if I need to raise or lower the water. I'll turn that screw right there, which will change the float. Now, I have always submerged these. I'll check the manual and see what it says. Takes a while to fill up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And see Is the, it just with mamas or? Yeah. See, the old style, as it filled up, the old style with the, with the big float on the mm -hmm. rod, as it filled up, it would slowly start shutting off as it got closer to the top. This one will fill full flow all the way to the top, and then it just immediately cuts off. That's cool. That's awesome. I still wish it was a little bit faster though. Is it just with mamas? Gotta go so it soon? all depends on the water pressure. Oh, okay. Is this safe? So get ready because it started to move the float. Yep. We'll see where the float shuts off. And I have not adjusted this, so we'll see where the float shuts off. Oh, that was weird. Yeah. It was very weird. It stopped and then it stopped, but it sounds like it's going. It's still going. Oh, it is? And it stopped Let's see again. see what happens. Like I said, I've always fully submerged these floats. I don't know if they have to be. I think it's past the line, Dad. Wait, so do you have to press on it for it to... No, 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 no. no. Oh, because just... every time you press on it, it's... Um, filling up, and when you let go, it's stopping. See, okay, and this is the finished product fully installed. I have adjusted this, it's not a lot of wiggle room, and wrapped the extra chain, hooked it back on the hook, so that way I have a loop of chain right there because it was almost long enough where it was going to get underneath the flapper when it was down, which means it would have been under the flapper up. So, it is now working as it should. And it's just about shut off. Well, looks higher from this angle. But it's already been through about six flushes. And it's shutting off right where it needs to. There it goes. An inch down. So the water level is close to an inch from the, that right there. And that's where it has to be by code. So thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Let me know what you think of this.